For almost his entire adult life, George Toma has watched the Kansas City Chiefs up close. But his roots are in northeastern Pennsylvania, where he honed his skills to become known one day as the sod god. Toma has never missed a Super Bowl, and as he told me this past summer, it's thanks to his strong foundation. George Toma has seen it all, from Super Bowls to World Series, from Olympic Games to the World Cup. But along the way, the legendary groundskeeper known as the Sod Father never forgot where he's from. I'm in Kansas City for 67 years now, but where I'm from, where's my hometown, it's not Kansas City. It's Edwardsville, Pennsylvania, Wilkesboro, Pennsylvania, Wyoming Valley, the valley with a heart. Last August, Toma was back in town for his induction into the Luzerne County Sports Hall of Fame. He's also part of the Major League Baseball Groundskeepers Hall of Fame, the Royals Hall of Fame, and has been honored by the Pro Football Hall of Fame. For decades, Toma was in charge of the sports complex in Kansas City. We had the best playing field in baseball, the best in football, soccer, and uh, we didn't spend $1,000 a year on that field. We never resawed it or anything. It was just hard work from the coal mines here in Pennsylvania. Toma is the son of a coal miner, and at age 12, he began his career in groundskeeping at Artillery Park in Wilkes-Barre. From there, he quickly became one of the best in the business. Three little words, you gotta do the job and then some, and that extra uh, uh, distinguishes the mediocre from the great. And there are none greater than George Toma. His reputation earned him the responsibility of leading the grounds crew for Super Bowl I in 1967 and has worked all 56 games since. Through all his success, Toma did his job with one simple rule in mind. You have to work for the players. Like I mentioned and I preach, the cheapest insurance from an athlete from preschool all the way up to the NFL Major League of Baseball is a good, safe playing field. Something Toma learned from growing up in NEPA. Wasn't for the people here in Edwardsville and the people at Artillery Park. I wouldn't be here today in a way.